time for call for action. Many of us take measures to protect our computers from viruses and malware. But mm -hmm. did you know that your smartphone could be at risk as well? Karen Stiles of our call for action office joins us live in the newsroom. Karen, how does this happen? Well, Shannon and Charles, in many ways, your smartphone acts like a small version of your computer. You can use it to search the web, check email, play games, and so much more. However, just like a computer, your smartphone can be vulnerable to viruses and malware. The most common ways to, of getting these viruses or malware on a smartphone tend to be from downloading bad apps, clicking on malicious links in emails or on websites, or connecting a phone via a USB cable to an infected computer. Okay, so the big question, how do we protect our phones from hackers? Most important, think before you click or download an app. Be sure that the app and links are from well-known sources and that they are safe. Put a secure password on your phone and change it often. Update phone software on a regular basis and consider using antivirus software on phones and computers that you connect your phone to. And keep your Bluetooth connections off when not in use. Though rare, some hacks are happening via Bluetooth. So what should you do if you think your phone has been hacked? I think you just talked about that, right? Mm-hmm. Contact the retailer or manufacturer of your phone for help, especially if your phone is locked or not working properly. If you get a message asking you to pay a ransom to unlock your phone, do not take further action until you get help from the retailer or the phone manufacturer. You might also be able to find helpful information online from reputable forums, but use caution because not all advice online is safe or legitimate. Charles and Shannon? Yeah, if I only could be smarter than the smartphone. <laughs> right. All right, thanks. Need help with the consumer problem? Our Call for Action volunteers are ready. Call the number right there on the screen or request help online. Just click on the icon on the front page of TMJ4.com.